about to play games. Game music. Hey, in the morning. Hey. You're in the formative years when you playing games. For me, you know, as a preteen, then going into teenage years, and you playing the games, and that's when you really getting your input, being a musician. I'm John Baptiste, and we in here, and we gonna do these games because I love the games, and the music of the games is very important to me, and it taught me a lot about music and life and everything in between. So let's get into it. Hey. I love the music. Thanks for being my band leader. Yeah. Have a good time over there. Good job, man. It pays well. favorite game soundtrack is Final Fantasy VII because it's a full-bodied composition that you could listen to apart from the game but when you put it in the game it makes the game better it doesn't overshadow the game it doesn't distract from the game that's a great feat as a composer to do something that in and of itself is substantial, but then when you put it with the thing that it was made for, that's the best context for it. Hey! <laughs> that's that old church. What your pastor said. Hey, no. <laughs> there was a lot of games like that where we would just listen to the soundtrack. It taught me subconsciously about composition and how to put stories and music together. was propelling you to uh, push forward in the game. It's not just this narrative, but it's this music that's pulling you. Guy Osteen has got a complex emotion to it. He's fighting for a purpose, like he's fighting to avenge his friend's death. Almost got a John Coltrane thing to it. Sonic taught me a lot about counter melodies that you can employ in a composition. And then a counter melody. <laughs> it's cool to revisit these songs. A lot of people have a lot of memories with these songs. And these kids listening to it, and it's influencing their taste in music. And that's cool. I think that's a great outlet that we still have in the culture that is still um, um, largely untapped. That chord, that chord, that first time I heard that chord, because that chord wasn't in modern music in the 90s. That's like some like Louis Armstrong. Ah! 